Hi guys and welcome back. So in this tutorial I'm going to be making a more um, interesting way to uh, view this 3D object. So right now my my way of viewing it is just uh, changing the, the viewpoint and then viewing at the same towards the same location. What I'm going to change is that instead of always looking towards this cube I'm going to have like a a free view where we can just change where we're looking at and change where the position is. If you have ever, ever played a game like say Counter Strike, when when you are the spectator, you have the ability to just go around the world and just uh, point your your camera wherever you want and go through walls or whatever. That's gonna be a, about the same. I'm going to be trying to make here. So what I want to do is so that. Uh, w A S and D, the wast command, um, those will go when you press W and S, it'll go towards where you're looking and away from where you're looking, and A and D will then go to the sides. And then when you use your arrow keys, you'll change the direction you're looking in. So if you press up and down, you'll start looking more up or down, left, right, you'll start looking left and right. So First off, I'm going to add a final de detail that will just make it all look a lot better. Um, I'm going to add some floor under this cube. So the cube is placed at 0, 0.0, so I'm going to start start the loop at minus minus 4. And then i is smaller than 5. Whoops. 5 and i plus plus. And then we're gonna run two loops inside each other. I will be for the x values, and this j value will be for the y values. And then I'm just going to add add this a new polygon. So the polygon is going to be a square at the zero 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 set value. I'm gonna make it green to make it look a bit like grass, but it's not really gonna look like grass. So um, we draw it at the y location, and then these two will be y plus one. And then here we draw it at the j location, then these two will be j plus one. That way we make squ a square. So now if we run it, we can see we have a floor under this cube. So next thing I'm going to do now is start to make it uh, more a free, free view. You can control everything and go wherever you want. So let's start that. So first off I'm going to change all this. Um, instead of having it, it actually do the action here, I'm just going to set a value to true or false when a key is pressed. So that value is going to be a boolean. It's going to be an array boolean called keys. Uh, new boolean. Going to make 10 keys approximately. So left is going to be key 1. Key 1 equals true. And then I called it keys or something, didn't I? Yeah, keys. And then this is going to be key key 0, key 1, key 2 and 3. And then I'm going to add for the the W, A, S and D as well. So W, A, S, D. I'm just going to set them to 4, 5, 6 and 7. So now um, these keys are going to be true when we press the button, but we need to set them to false when we release the button, otherwise they will pretty much always be true. So I'm going to copy this and down here and the key, less, key released. I'm just going to find all true, then replace with false. Oops. So there we go. Um, now we need to add another function. This function will control what is what is going to happen when we click uh, our buttons. 
So void controls. I'm just going to start off by calling it up here. That's the first thing we do in our paint component. Controls. So what is going to happen here is we're gonna call say if I'm gonna make the uh, do the easy ones first. So what we wanted was that W would go towards where we're looking and A would go away from where we're looking. So if key four whoops key four keys four if that is true then um we are going to add uh actually first I'm going to make a new vector. This is gonna be the the vector that uh direction we are looking in. It, it is this it's the same vector we have in here called uh the view vector. I'm just going to copy this for making it all, all a lot easier. So we have this view vector. So um this view vector is one long. So when we want when this key is pressed we wanna go one um in the right direction we are looking. So x plus uh view vector dot x then just do the same with the y and the c and now I see an error. So we need to change the view from um this is because this is our perspective we're looking from and when we change that it feels like we are moving something something like that <laughs> anyways uh, now we we'll, are moving ahead um, in the direction we are looking now we want to be able to move away away from the direction we are looking so if keys 5 well actually is it 5? A that's, that's 5 yeah actually S is the one we need S is the one that's gonna move back, so key 6 and um, we're just gonna set this to minus so yeah um, what we're gonna do now is just gonna run it error, whoops controls just call control ok, so I'm gonna run it so now when we press W oh, this looks funky when we press W, we go closer to the point we are looking at. We can actually go into the minus. It's pretty funky. I'm not quite sure what is happening here. Uh, okay, so if what I think is it's going wrong here is that when we get closer here, we change our view from, but our view 2 stays the same. I think if we would change our view 2 at the same time, we wouldn't get such a weird picture, especially when you go in here. It's really fucked. Messes up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna change it so that uh view two changes as well. So view two view two Oops. Then minus I'm gonna run it again. So now when we zoom in, yeah, we can see it zooms in like, like, yeah, like you, you would think it would do. So now we just need to go to the sides and change the view angle. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So going to these sides, that's actually um, something where we can use the same function we made in the vector class, the cross product. Because when we cross two vectors, we'll get an new vector that is 90 degrees on both of the old vectors so if we cross this view vector with any vector we will get a, one, a new vector that is going to be uh, 90 degrees on this view vector and um, 90 degrees on this view vector actually now that I think about it we need to cross it with a specific vector, we need to cross it with the vector that is Hmm, let me think about this for a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and start out. So, if case 5 
Um, we need to create a new vector called a side view vector, and I'm gonna try and do something. I'm gonna make yet another vector. Uh, it's called vertical vector, a new vector, zero zero. Um, one. So this is just going to go upwards in the C coordinate. And then I'm gonna set this side view vector to two. the view vector crossed with this uh, vertical vector. I don't think this will actually give us the precise way of going sideways, but I'm gonna see what comes out of it. So here in keys five, that key five, that is uh, that is the A button, meaning we're gonna go to the left. Um, we are simply going to say a side view vector instead here. And then same for when we press our D button. D button is gonna be uh, seven. We are just going to say minus. Now the only thing that I'm not quite sure of here is this side view vector, if this will actually give us the right direction. So I'm gonna try. Uh, zoom in, zoom out, go to the left, go to the right. No, <laughs> that doesn't quite work as I hoped it would. Um, it should it should go off in this direction and just look like we are going, going parallel. This shouldn't go up and down in the Y. So, hmm. I'm going to figure this out and in the next tutorial I'm going to tell you how to do this, so see you guys next time.